salute, salute. I wasn't even going to make a video about the Nick Cannon and Eminem beef, which is Nick Cannon has a new song out called The Imitation Cancel. It's the trilogy of all the um, disc records. And I looked at the video, but one thing that stood out to me was Nick Cannon was holding a book in his hands. I don't know if y'all was paying attention to that book, but the book is titled The Isis Papers, The Keys to the Colors, written by Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. Dr. Francis Cress Welsing is one of the greatest psychologists in the 20th century. She, um, the book is composed of essays, and it was inspired by Neely Fuller Jr., who actually defined the term racism and the nine tenets of racism. In the book, Dr. Welsey analyzes racism and its delirious effects by decoding the symbolisms of white domination. She also talks about what is racism. She says racism is not an attitude, it's white supremacy in a global power system of mass oppression for white genetic survival in which the majority of the world's white people participate. She talks about the degradation of sex within the white supremacy culture, sex is viewed as a sin and there is no need to begin born again. There are no accounts of non-white peoples in their basic religious or uh, philosophical texts, perceiving of themselves as being born in sin or viewing their genitals as the basis of sin and evil. Projection. If hate and lack of, of respect are manifested towards others, hate and lack of respect are felt most often at deep levels towards the self. She talks about albinism. Pale skin is a form of albinism. There is no difference um, between white skin of the white person and the skin of a person designated as an albino. She goes in actor also with penis envy. Penis envy in the white supremacy culture began with the white male's envy of the genetic power residing in the black male's testicles and phallus. White envy of the black phallus is addressed unconsciously. You heard her unconsciously when whites consistently concerns themselves with the comparative size of the black phallus versus the size of the white phallus. So if you think about it, y'all, we, um, another thing she points out, it, it is again little wonder that white men built missiles and guns shaped in the form of phalluses, paint them white and use them to annihilate people of color around the globe. Guns as symbols. She also talks about firing gun and function achievements for white, the destruction of black lives in the same way the black penis can destroy white genetic survival. The gun is seen as the great equalizer and hence the reason why white men refer to one another as son of the gun. And she also talks about black fear. P black people throughout the world live under the power of white supremacy system of total oppression and domination, implying the absence of any true power. This is the major and only problem facing black and all other people of color throughout the world since the assassination of um, courageous black men, black people have been afraid to confront the murderous reality of white domination. You know, I'm just giving you a little snippet of the book. You can read the book yourself. Don't get mad at me. I'm not making no shit up. All right. So I want you to take, oh yeah, you making some shit up. You a racist mother. I, first of all, I ain't no racist motherfucker. Because first of all, racism is prejudice plus power equals racism. We all are prejudiced to something. You can be prejudiced towards food. You can be prejudiced towards your favorite basketball team. You do like a basketball team, but do you have the power? Do a black man have a power to actually oppress another race? I do not. So I'm going to clear that up right now. Thank you very much. So Nick Cannon holding that book was very powerful. It was very, very powerful. It just showed me like Nick Cannon saying, this is, this is the, um, this is the closer. This is fourth quarter shutdown. You ain't coming back from this. I don't see Eminem making a diss record coming at um, Nick Cannon after this. I see Eminem trying to sue Nick Cannon or doing some fucking punk ass shit because he don't. He to me, Nick Cannon did what he was supposed to do. Some people can say Nick Cannon or majority y'all can say Nick Cannon lost, but who gives a fuck? 
Nick Cannon ain't no battle rapper. He ain't no motherfucking MC like that. So what did he lose? He didn't lose nothing. Nick Cannon has property. Nick Cannon's children and future grandchildren and great-grandchildren are going to be taken care of. Nick Cannon been doing all kind of shit for the black community. So nobody can't say nothing about Nick Cannon. He stands for his people, and I'm all for Nick Cannon. I ride with Nick Cannon because I'm about black excellence. I don't care for Eminem because of the shit he's done. I'm not saying he's a whack-ass rapper, but I don't give a fuck for too much for Eminem. I don't have to like Eminem. Nobody can't make me like Eminem. There's black rappers out here that white people don't like, and I don't give a fuck. That shit don't hurt my motherfucking feelings. So it don't care. To me, there's so many other better rappers that's white than Eminem. For real. English Frank from the UK is way better than fucking Eminem. Way better. Milkbone was. Fucking, there's Wu-Tang affiliates. They had some white people in that group. It was better than fucking Eminem to me. So what are people talking about? This is not no black or white thing. This is, I don't care for Eminem. If I liked anything from Eminem, it was probably his first two albums. But after that, it's whatever. But the last thing I want to talk about is Nick Cannon had the chorus looping in that song saying, Eminem was saying, black women are bitches. Black women are bitches. They're not shit. Eminem had an unreleased track because I guess a black woman hurt his feelings. And he had this track and it was, and Benzino brought it out like in 2003. It was in the Source magazine. It was on a CD, unreleased tape. And Eminem said that, but that he didn't say that at, a, at the time in 2003, it was unreleased. Eminem came out with a song and apologized saying he didn't mean to say that, he didn't mean to say that. But he apologized and a lot of people are gonna say, oh, he was young, he didn't know what he was saying. Let him, let Nick Cannon say, fuck all white women. Let, I bet you, if Nick Cannon said, fuck all white women, y'all motherfuckers will be like, fuck Nick Cannon. I hate that black bitch. He's a black nigger. I know y'all motherfuckers will say that. And y'all will still be saying that today. But since Eminem, oh, he didn't know no better. He didn't know what he was doing. Now come on, give him a chance. He signed Royce to 5'9". He helped Royce to 5'9". He got Griselda. He had D12. He worked with Dr. Dre. He hangs with black people. Man, fuck Eminem. Fuck that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about no Eminem. And if you don't like what I'm saying, get the fuck off my channel. You can unsubscribe to me. That shit don't hurt my motherfucking feelings. Like I said, there's so many other rappers out here better than Eminem. Self-titled is better than Eminem. Benny Paz is better than Eminem. Alphony is better than Eminem. I got a fucking list. R.A. the Rugged Man is a million times better than fucking Eminem. Do we need to go down the list? Do we need to go down the list? Because I can keep naming this shit over and over and over and over. Eminem does not hold weight to those other white rappers. Those other white rappers got skills, bars, are conscious in the wake of what's going on in this world. They might not sell the albums like Eminem, but they lyrical content, their metaphors will blow Eminem out the window. Anybody want to uh, want to believe me? Listen to their fucking content. A lot of these people are just clout chasers. They just on Eminem dick because they have nothing else to do. Motherfuckers don't know real rap. Eminem is not my motherfucking Elvis Presley of this hip hop game. I don't even think Elvis Presley, he stole his style from fucking Chuck Berry. So fuck Elvis too. Fuck that motherfucker. He stole his style from Chuck Berry. So before I give Eminem some props, I'm going to give Red Man, one of my favorite MCs, some props. I'm going to give motherfucker, what you call it? I'm going to give Karis One some motherfucking props. I'm going to give the Beastie Boys they motherfucking props over fucking Eminem. So just miss me with the bullshit. You can't tell me nothing. I've been there and done that. I've seen it all my life. I know what's going on out here. Shout out to Nick Cannon, man. I don't care what nobody say. You want to say he lost? Fuck it. He won in my book. He's, he's practicing black excellence. He's doing what he's doing because there's a lot of MCs out here that don't want to challenge um, Eminem because they want to be his friend. They want to be his buddy. Nick Cannon don't give a fuck. Nick Cannon said, I'll, I'll want the smoke. And win, lose, or draw, at least he got in the ring with Eminem. He wasn't scared. He did what he was supposed to do. He ain't no coward. He ain't no bitch. Unlike some, unlike some of your favorite rappers wouldn't get in the ring with an Eminem. But post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified um, when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support the page, you can share my videos. 
Also, you can also donate via PayPal, Streamlabs, Cash App. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you.